while Sutton had a very large omen on their side. In 1989, the year they cemented their place in cup folklore by knocking out Coventry City, they'd beaten Aylesbury on their way to the third round. And Sutton soon made it clear that they planned on history repeating itself. And in Gavin McCallum, they had the dominant figure on the field. The Canadian winger created chances for himself and provided the ammunition for Karim El Salahi's powerful 17th minute strike as Sutton took charge. Strictly speaking, this wasn't a home tie for Ellsbury. They've been sharing Chesham United's meadow ground for the past two seasons since the lease expired on their own home. Kevin Miller couldn't hit the target with their best chance of the first half, and it wasn't long before McCallum was causing them problems again. This time, Dean Palmer couldn't hit the target with his header. As the first half wore on, Sutton's confidence grew, and their passing game clicked into gear. A flowing move set up another chance. Ellsbury keeper Tom Vincent kept his side on terms. The crowd of 545 included a number of Football League scouts keen for a look at Sutton's 17-year-old prodigy, Billy Dunn. But this shot on the stroke of half-time was the highlight of a frustrating afternoon for the young striker. Aylesbury had knocked Blue Square Southside Bath out in the last round. City last week was their first in 12 games. But the Southern League side couldn't contain Sutton's attacking threat as the second half began. Especially McCallum, denied by Vincent once again. But for all their dominance, the Ryman Premier outfit still hadn't scored. Steve McKim teed up Matt Hand for their next effort, just wide. McCallum's next charge forward was foiled yet again by Vincent, but the breakthrough Sutton thoroughly deserved was just moments away. In the club's history, there's only one FA Cup hero comes mighty close in more ways than one. Hamlet was the man who scored the goal that saw off Coventry almost 20 years ago. 20 minutes from time at the Meadow, Matt Han decided to settle this cup tie single-handed. Aylesbury...